I would now like to introduce my colleague, Paula Swinford, the Director of Health Promotion at the University of Southern California. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. It's really my pleasure to be with you today, be here with you today. I have to say that this morning, this bright sunny morning here in Los Angeles, on the edge of what we call the Pacific Ocean, I'm aware that um, I'm feeling a bit like a whale. Um, and why is that? Uh, because I am conscious that the sounds I make are traveling far wider than I can ever begin, even begin to imagine. And so it really is um, a privilege and an honor to be here with all of you from around this incredible place we call Earth. My job this morning is to introduce our first breakout session and to do that relatively quickly, which is always a challenge for me. But, um, and so here's what I will do is I um, am speaking about the Okanagan Charter. What is the Okanagan Charter for those of you who are not familiar? What it might mean to begin to adopt the Okanagan Charter? But to do that, what I want to say is that each of us has a before. And um, as, uh, as I have aged, I am aware of where my before points are. And so I'd like for you to take a moment and listening to our speaker from, from Germany, I was aware of you know, 1995 and how, uh, how that network was established even before there was an Okanagan Charter. And why was that? That was because of the settings approach that Mark Doris has written about. And I believe if I'm not, I might be incorrect about this, but let's see. Um, I think that Mark Doris um, interviewed uh, people who participated in the Ottawa Charter, uh, the creation of the Ottawa Charter in 1986. I graduated from my, uh, my graduate program before the Ottawa Charter. So why do I talk about before? Because it takes a before for things to be created. And it's the people that you connect with in the before that help you determine your future. Higher education measures itself by things like the quality of its faculty, the success of its alumni, sometimes rankings here in the United States. But think about what it might be to be in an institution that placed itself in the company of other international health promoting campuses. Think about the Okanagan Charter as something that was built on the Ottawa Charter, the World Health Organization Ottawa Charter. Think of the Okanagan Charter as something that asks us to be, to acknowledge, and I feel like we're on the verge of this, to be systemic, to be systemic, to move past programs and services. And, you know, I did this and I did that. Um, but to begin to see the whole garden um, as well as the caterpillar in it, um, but to really begin to allow yourself to think more, um, creatively in, in multiple dimensions and sectors. So how does the Okanagan Charter help with this? The Okanagan Charter was not just created at one meeting in 2015, um, which I had the privilege of attending and, and got to meet uh, Mark and, uh, and Matt at that point in time and many other colleagues. But that the Okanagan Charter was a process, was a was a multi-year process of building connections and talking about the similarities of these settings we are in. Thank you, Matt, for dropping the Okanagan Charter in the, in the chat. The Okanagan Charter has eight calls to action. And so we're gonna break out into groups of eight uh, in honor of that. And in your groups, what we'd like for you to do is to begin to connect because it's in these connections that the creativity comes, um, where the ability to change comes. Um, I don't think I've ever changed anything about myself because of what I thought I needed to do. 
It was always because I felt that the relationship needed me to be something better. And so um, as we build some new relationships, what, I, what we are going to ask you to do is to, um, you can look at the Okanagan Charter if you want, but um, the question would be, what draws you to this document? What draws you to this document? How, um, what might be your next steps in embracing this document on your campus um, or further embracing this document? And you know, it's so funny, we went from, we went from signing the Okanagan Charter to adopting the Okanagan Charter. And uh, of late, I find myself using the word embracing. Embracing the Okanagan Charter with all of its challenges um, to the ways we think about uh, what creates health. Um, that's a, that's a, that's a, you know, what does create health? Our keynote speaker was so good at that. Um, what does create health really, really? And so what draws you to the Okanagan Charter? What are your next steps in embracing the Okanagan Charter? And then with each other, be curious. Ask some questions of each other, get to know each other. We'll only have a little bit of time, um, but this is a chance to make a new friend. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Melissa and you can turn us into breakout rooms. Thank you.